Alright guys, here's a match against a recurring challenger, Fat Jesus, and uh, this is just a regular OU match, and I don't really feel like saying anything else about it right now, so let's go ahead and just get started. Alright, so you can see our teams now, and uh, now you don't, because I started the match. And uh, yeah, he's gonna give me a challenge, and I lead with my Ferrothorn, because I didn't really know what else to lead with, to be honest. As he leads with Noivern, which, um... Usually is a uh, choice in some way, and usually carries flamethrower, so I do uh, not want to stay in. I go into Togekiss, who I know that can take uh, special moves pretty nicely, and it does indeed carry the flamethrower. And he even gets the burn, which, um, yeah, kind of annoying, but uh, what can you do? I am just going to, um, actually, no, it's not really that bad for me, since I do actually carry Heal Bell on this uh, Togekiss, so... Um, yeah, it's not the worst thing ever, I guess. I'm just gonna go for the Thunder Wave. If I get it on a Noivern, obviously that's pretty good, because, uh, Noivern does rely a lot on its speed. If I get it on anything, really, it's not that bad. He ends up going into Metagross, which, um, yeah, I'm okay with paralyzing Metagross. It's not the fastest Pokemon in the world, but, uh, the 25% chance to not move, not to mention, uh, the losing all ability to outspeed anything, does kind of help. So, uh, yeah. He's just going to go ahead and Mega Evolve. I uh, knew that looking at his team, this was probably his Mega Evolution, and indeed it is. And he, uh, he is just going to Mega Evolve, but uh, then get frozen his paralysis as I go into my Gliscor, which is not the usual Gliscor I use. I kind of wanted to test it out this battle. And um, yeah, I'm pretty much hoping that he doesn't have Ice Punch, and he does, and then I die. So goodbye, my fling um, acrobatics Gliscor. It's not. It's not. My usual Gliscor, which is, uh, st you know, more of a uh, defensive setup set with uh, Stealth Rocks. And I would have really liked to try to use my Fling Gliscor strats, but uh, then I died because of the Ice Punch. And really probably shouldn't have even risked it, but at that point I felt like it was probably my best bet to take out Metagross. Oh well, I go into Gengar now, hoping to Revenge Kill, and he just goes into Noivern, which um, I cannot outspeed. I do get some decent damage there, though, with my Shadow Ball as I uh, go into Togekiss, and... Yeah, he ends up trying to go for that dragon move, which uh, I am immune to, being a fairy, and I'm okay with that. I'm just going to go ahead now with the uh, roost. I know he's going to probably have to switch. I'm like 90% sure at this point that he is um, choice specs, which is the usual set. So, um, yeah, the switch is pretty obvious. He goes out into Heracross, and I don't know if he's going to try to overpredict or not. I'm kind of confident that maybe I can take one, um, you know, one uh, Stone Edge and... I know this is obviously not his Mega Evolution, being that he already had the um, Metagross, so I'm just going to go ahead and stay in and Thunder Wave. I know these things can carry Guts, but they usually carry Moxie these days, these um, Choice Scarf Heracrosses, and the uh, ability just to, you know, get rid of this thing's speed, if it is a Scarf set, is um, too juicy to give up. And he ends up missing Stone Edge, but then Hax pays me back with a missed Air Slash. What is it, 95% accuracy against Stone Miss, and of course then he hits with Stone Miss, and as you can see, it didn't really matter that he missed anyway, since um, Stone Edge doesn't really do that much. It doesn't want to KO me, so I would have been able just to Roost anyway, which I'm going to do now, not wanting to die. I know that Roost is also going to reduce the damage that Stone Edge does to me. He knows that too, and he knew that I was probably going to go for the Roost, so he ends up going into Raichu, which um, does kind of threaten Togekiss a bit. I don't want to take a Thunderbolt, so I'm going to go out into Ferrothorn. Now, I know from a previous battle that this is probably his Life Orb Raichu. Like I said, I battled Fat Jesus a few times. We're pretty familiar with each other's sets in general. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to go into Ferrothorn to take the Thunderbolt, but I'm not going to stay in for the Focus Blast. Like I said, I know that he has it, and I know he's going to use it. And, um, yeah, it do does confirm that it is, in fact, the Life Orb one that I saw before, so... Yeah, I'm hoping to outplay him here, getting a switch into Gengar. Hopefully he doesn't predict it, and he doesn't, thank God. Um, so, obviously, uh, I do take the... Uh, yeah, I do take that Focus Blast, being that I'm immune to it. And um, I go for the Shadow Ball, which uh, kind of is a misplay. Looking at that damage, had I went for the um, slightly stronger stabbed uh, Sludge Wave, I would have been able to kill that Raichu before it got off the Volt Switch. But... Um, that really blows, because it does weaken Gengar down to red. I'm just going to fodder it here. Uh, Raichu does kill itself to its life orb, but I really would have uh, preferred to have a healthy Gengar. And, um, yeah, whatever. I decided to stay in, by the way, because I thought he might overpredict, and I just wasn't sure. And I didn't want to risk going into, um, you know, Fer uh, yeah, Ferrothorn or, um, uh, bleh. My uh, Togekiss. Oh well. So I go into my Mega Blastoise now. I'm just going to go for the uh, Dark Pulse. Um, 
kind of thinking, I don't know really what he would do. I know that he was locked into Flamethrower, so obviously he's not going to stay in. I felt like Dark Pulse was the best move against his team, and ends up uh, being a pretty good move because he does go into Gyarados, which is actually my, uh, well, it's the best move I have against Gyarados on this Blastoise. And I do get the crit, so that's kind of nice, and I'm able to 2 ko this thing. But now it goes into Clefable, which is a Pokemon that I'm really scared of because I know this thing is a, um... I uh, call mine Clefable, and then I missed Hydro Pump, which is not good, because I was hoping to get some, um, you know, good damage on it without its uh, special defense boost, and uh, yeah, sometimes when you use low accuracy moves, they miss, and that just, that's just the deal, and now he has two Calm Minds, and I am super, super afraid of this thing. Thank God that Magikarp does not prevent Paralysis from working in this gen. It does have a speed, and it doesn't... Um, doesn't prevent him from uh, freezing either in his uh, paralysis, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. If I'm going to kill this Clefable at this point, I'm going to need a little bit of hacks on my side, so I'm hoping that I will get it. And uh, yeah, he, as you can see though, you, he does have Moonblast now on this Clefable. Um, the last battle we used, he was using Dazzling Gleam because he didn't have Moonblast, and now he did get Moonblast on this Clefable. You actually might remember this from that battle, it wasn't that long ago. But uh, yeah, I'm going to Roost again for some reason, because... I don't even know why I did that. I should have just went for the uh, Air Slash, being that um, he's doing more damage than I can heal with Roost, but I'm just going to die. Kind of um, misplaying a lot right now. Although I guess Air Slash really wouldn't do that much. I mean, I could have hoped for the Flinch Hacks, uh, Flinch Dull Hacks, but it really wasn't going to do me much good. I was going to die to my own burn anyway, and I wasn't really going to do that much since he did get the special attack drop with the Moon Blast on top of his two special defense boosts with Calm Mind. What can you do? I go into Terrakian, um, and I'm basically doing that because it's the only physical thing I have left. I know that he can pretty much kill me with a Moonblast. I'm hoping for a Parahax, and I do get one. Unfortunately, two Stone Edges is not enough to do it. Gosh, stupid freaking Clefable, man. And it's just wrecking my team. I did get it down to red, though. Well, now it's a uh, low yellow, but I'm having to hope that Blastoise with a Hydro Pump can do it at this point. And I end up critting, so I I'll take it. I, I was, like, unsure, but after a crit, ignoring a special defense boost, obviously I do kill it. Um, I didn't know if... I don't know if that would have killed otherwise. Probably wouldn't have. And I would have just gotten swept by Clefable. I'll take it. So he goes out into Heracross now, as I just go for a uh, Hunter Pump. He just uh, goes for that close combat. Doesn't quite kill Blastoise due to my good physical bulk. And, uh, yeah, I am going to be able to get that 2 KO with Dragon Pulse, and that's what I do. You know, obviously to avoid the miss. And, uh, yeah, I do take out that Heracross, which is kind of nice. Now, I still think that he has the upper hand here, because he has this Noivern, and I don't know what he's going to do. I kind of bank on the fact he's going to predict a switch into my Ferrothorn, so I decide to stay in. Um, he ends up going for the U-turn, which I didn't even know he would have, which is uh, kind of interesting. And um, just going out into Metagross, so I just go for the Dragon Pulse, thinking that he might stay in and go for the Flamethrower, and I might be able to live. And, um, yeah, but if I'm going to win this, though, I have to hope... And I, I have a plan here, guys. I go into Ferrothorn, and I do that because I kind of think he's going to try to stay in and um, get that free switch back into Noivern. And I'm thinking, okay, that Noivern looks like it might be 25%, right? Uh, it, it's really close. My only shot here is to hope that I can get off Stealth Rocks before he goes back into Noivern. So that's what I'm going to do. He does end up just killing himself using, um, what is it, Bullet Punch on his uh, Metagross. And I set up the Stealth Rocks. If that thing dies coming in, I win. It's his last Pokemon. Else, I'm pretty sure locking himself into Flamethrower at this point will do it. My Blastoise is not healthy enough to survive it. And it lives! He wasn't even thinking it, he said, man. He just... I mean, he, I thought it was going to be a brilliant play on his part if he just knew that he would live it. But he actually, he didn't. He didn't, he didn't predict my, stone, uh, my using um, Stealth Rocks at all. He thought he lost, too, but... He does have slightly enough HP to do it, but right down to the wire here against Fat Jesus. And, um, yeah, he gets this one, and it was close as hell. I thought I had won for a second when I got up the Stealth Rocks. I'm like, yes! Now that Noivern is dead, and I win, but then it didn't happen because it had, I think he said, 2 HP left after that. Oh, well, I tried my best. I have no regrets, and it was a very good match with Fat Jesus. So, today's question of the day is this. Now, I've done question of the days in the past with you, um, at, you know, telling me the Mega Evolutions you want. Tell me the Mega Evolutions you think. Let's, let's play a predicting game. What Mega Evolutions do you think will come out in Sun and Moon, if any? Or do you think they're just going to ditch Mega Evolutions? Which we can hope for, but they're probably never going to get rid of it. It's, it's in the series, let's face it. Um, as for me, I think it's way too good of an opportunity for Mega Lunatone and Mega Soul Rock. 
I'm thinking they, they're pretty much locked for those games. Maybe not. Maybe not. I might be wrong. But they could certainly use the Mega Evolution, and they fit with the uh, Sun and Moon theme. And I think they will be version exclusives, too. But that's just my prediction. Leave a comment about what you think uh, Game Freak will give new Mega Evolutions. I think Mega Flygon is going to happen, too. They said the Mega Flygon was planned for Oros, but uh, they just couldn't get a design they liked. I bet you they they get in a Mega uh, Flygon next game, too. But leave a comment about that, and I hope to see you guys again next time. Later!